Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So if you got an email from someone who is alleging to be on the Google Docs team, you know, the people that bring you Google documents and spreadsheets and now presentation. I've talked about it before, showed you how to use various parts of Google Docs. Um, would you believe it? I didn't. And because uh, they were asking if, you know, I'd want to post to the Google Docs blog and help other people use Google Docs. And I was like, who is this really? I said, no, seriously. And uh, true enough, uh, Google Docs is, is knocking on my door, well, the virtual door, uh, and now they've started a YouTube. Yeah! Sorry, channel. Forgot I had them up there. Kind of fr freaked me out a bit. Look, see that? He, he, he's showing off the things that people are doing in relation to Google Docs. And did you see how you guys made it in there with one of the videos we did? Here, let's go back to the big face. Sorry. Right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Even even got the Google brand in there. Look at that. Who made it? Uh, Azassin, Conjulo, and Dragon Paladin. And they were even saying, like, Microsoft Office 07 and OpenOffice.org. You guys made it into an official video. Well, at least some of you did. And now they're asking uh, for, you know sharing more tips and tricks related to Google Docs. So if you want, uh, you can jump over to YouTube if you haven't already, and their username is Google Docs Community, of which you are now a part of, and uh, feel free to you know subscribe and send in your own tips. You can be a, a little rock star, or italic star. I, I don't know, what can you do with Google Docs. I'm about to open it up again as the topic here says community. I mean, it's not just the Google Docs community, but I'm about to use Google Docs to engage the community. Uh, the uh, other week, I announced my intention on developing uh, an open source platform, a community platform uh, upon which you could have a blog, a forum, uh, you know, me message boards, you know, little store, Q&A, uh, subgroups, a, a community platform based on Drupal. At that point, it really didn't have a name. And uh, Mike Arrington from TechCrunch, you know, kind of ribbed me and said, you know, come on, you got to have a name. And so uh, I went with GnomePal, G-N-O-M-E-P-A-L, which is kind of a mix between my handle and you know Drupal, so Gnome Pal is the name of the platform. More information has now been posted at gnomepal.org, and that is a documentation that is in progress. Uh, we're assembling the the resources, volunteers, people who can help make this happen, and I can tell you, the response has been absolutely tremendous. There's such a need for a community in a box, and it's not just for, you know, people who have, you know, gigantic lists of friends. It's specifically for non-technical people who just want to have a way to coordinate community online. It's not a blog. A blog is a tool of community. It's not a forum. That's another tool. It's not a wiki. It's another tool. It's all these things combined for either people who want to make a profit with their community or for people who don't want to make a profit with their community. And it's all based on the modularity of Drupal. So to circle back with community, uh, as we're assembling these resources, you'll see this link on gnomepal.org at this point. But I'm just going to read you the questions that we're going to ask you. We're asking you. You can fill out these questions. It's actually attached to a Google spreadsheet online. You can watch and view all the results, and we're going to have to clear out those who are, um, you know, gaming the system. I don't know what, you know, if Google can do anything about that. I doubt it. I'm probably an edge case, but I love using this tool. Um, so these are questions for both community leaders and members. Whether you've owned a community or you've participated in a community, what would you look for in terms of a community in a box? 
And remember, it's not, not just one tool. It's a collection in making sure they work well together. And I'm specifically talking about open, open source, because it's the only way this is going to grow rather than to get you know, cornered or funneled into uh, you know, a back corner or hallway. I mean, I've been needing this platform for so long, and the people who have approached me can't wait to, to hear more about it and have been looking to help as well. And maybe you have some experience in developing or in, in helping flesh out these kinds of things. So if you've got time, answer these questions through the form on gnomepal.org. What do you want in a community site? You know, when you go to a site that's supposed to be about community, what do you expect when you see there? What are your top five most important components, tools, or features in a community site? What pieces must be in place for GnomePal's first milestone in order for you to start using it to build or to extend your own community? Maybe you are going to upgrade from a blog or a series of blogs to a full-fledged community platform. Are there any parts that, if they weren't available, would keep you from using GnomePal for your community needs? What frustrates you about your current community sites? What do you love about your current community sites? What tools do you currently use to organize your community? Is limited cu customization like color, logos, etc. important to you? Do you want to be able to narrow your feature set down to only a few or have the whole range of features always available? How long would, it, would you be willing to spend updating your site, its content, each week as a community owner? It ha is it important that you be able to generate revenue with your site, with your community? Is sharing revenue with your community members important? Do your members pay dues or make donations to the community? How active is your community and in what way? How likely are you to set up a new community site within the next month, six months, year? Or, to the, more to the point, how often do you need to make recommendations for setting up community sites to people you know? And think about that one. If you build a new community site on GnomePal, would you allow all of your members to contribute promoted content, only a few members, or only yourself? It's important to think about. Would your site be private or open to the general public? I think we're walking down the open path here. Do you anticipate your community would need live video or audio content or possibly event coordination tools? Would you rather host the community site software on your own server or would you prefer a tiered hosted solution? How important is it to you that you be able to view detailed stats about your community site? Very somewhat or not at all. Well, the, the full description of what we're building and specifically what we have in mind uh, is sitting on gnomepal.org right now. And the way we're building it is with total modularity and flexibility. So if you only want a blog, fine, you can have it. But then you know that you can add forums. Or if you want blogs and forums, that's fine. But you know you could add a wiki. I mean, it's completely potentially modular. We want to set up a, a hosted service. So it's pretty much just one click. You answer a few questions, bam, community in a box. Um, most importantly, knowing that advertising is going to be important for me because I want to use something like this for, for my own needs, uh, you know, my own commercial interests as well as my non-commercial interests, um, building that in. But instead of saying you have to use this service, this service, this service, the way we're going to construct it, we're going to have like a stats API or an activities API, or um, you know, a, a photos API, a videos API, so that if you already have an existing community, say on YouTube, you wouldn't need to re-upload your videos. You could just say, here's the YouTube credentials, pull it all in into my community site. Or I want to use that stats engine that sits over there so that you just be able to insert it. You could do it on your own terms. And that's kind of the bottom line uh, with this kind of infrastructure. And I've seen a lot of community software out there. Unfortunately, it's not um, fleshed out completely and or it's closed, in which case I'm not interested. I've used closed platform community software before and ultimately that ends up being very expensive and very anti-community, at least as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I've looked into shared code options and it was, again, it was extremely expensive. In theory, it is sounding good. We do have some working models and constructs. I think a very, a very attainable first milestone, uh, just getting the basics up and running. Uh, I've been talking with a lot of people about this, 
uh, experts, most certainly, uh, who know their way around Drupal uh, specifically. And as I said, we're assembling the resources. There's such a need for this, even by, as you'll see on the site, uh, independent consultants who get asked, hey, could you build a community software for me? It's like, oh, I got to do this, then I got to add this, and I got to change this, and I got to do this. It'd be nice to have just a base starting point. And more importantly, what about those who really don't care so much about all the, the fancy add-ons and stuff? They just want something that works out of the box that isn't just a blog, that it's a blog and, and a forum and potentially at some point a wiki, at some point uh, subgroups, at some point a calendaring system, at some point all these features that make a community site really tick. And the issue that you have when you kind of um, rely on external services for your community is that you're leaking knowledge. You know, you're requiring your community to go elsewhere to get the information they may not never see if it's not integrated at the site that they know and love. Forums, great example of a community tool, but that's just one tool of a community. When you start layering things or adding things to it, suddenly it seems kind of like a, a hack. I mean, forum software is good at what it does. It is. Uh, but in terms of serving you know, a, a, a variety of community needs, it's, it, it falls short. Same thing with blogs. Together, you've got a stronger community tool. So anyway, I'm asking those questions of you. I need you to answer honestly, directly. And you know, if you've got any other contributions, I mean, I know we're going to be taking feedback. I know. Uh, but more importantly, what we're going to need help with since this is going to be an open source effort and I am going after grants and, um, you know, for because I know attention and time is not necessarily free. Uh, or if, you know, you, you want to contribute in other ways, whether it's in uh, design or in implementation, uh, feel free to contact me. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Uh, as I said, this questionnaire is, is you know, linked through, it's being hosted on Google Docs. They didn't know that. Well, now they do. Uh, and you're also welcome to swing by the chat room. Although I will tell you, if you stop by the chat room, uh, I will likely be busy in another chat room talking specifically about this project. It is going to eat me alive because it's that important to me. So if I'm not paying attention, Chances are I'm trying to work on this, and so the more realistic help I can get, the better off I'm going to be, the better off you're going to be, because certainly this is open source, which means you'll be able to take the ball and run with it at some point in the future, too. So that's why I'm asking for help, and you know you should be seeing the, the validity of that. Take a look at what we've assembled so far in terms of our goals and direction, and I think you'll agree that uh, we're on the right path. And yes, I know, money is also very important. Advertising is built right into the whole idea because that's what Locker Gnome runs on. If you want to stop by the chat room just to say hi, I may not be paying attention, but I am here typically sitting in front of this uh, computer screen uh, typing away, not really watching screensavers. Maybe a call for help is more in order. Anyway, <laughs> feel free to stop by anytime, day or night. We're at live dot perillo dot com. We'll see you later.